Hi my hydrology friend this is my second video on hydrological modeling in this i am going to show how to arrange a large data set of hydrometeorological parameters into hcc packages like hec hec hms and hecras so you might have suffering from problem when when you have large set of data like uh, around uh, maybe uh, 30 years of data like uh, precipitation your transpiration and gauge uh, discharge and other data so in this i am going to show how easily you can you can arrange in a graphical manner using hack dss for that you need to install hack dss uh, that is uh, data storage system from usas website i have given the link below you can check it out and you you and you also need to download the um, user manual of xbs so let's begin so first you need to create file in xbs so let's go to file new and i create a file name and then it as tutor for so we have created this file so let's go to our data set so our data set so it is uh, the data are taken from kagura imd station at 8:30 at 8:30 am uh, so this one is uh, uh, annual data annual rainfall annual daily rainfall data of this year 2008 of kagura river station so uh, since dot xlx format uh, can't be read by hack dss so for that first you need to convert this into dot csv format so for that you need to go to file and save as save as comma delimited dot csv okay now you can check it is converted into dot csv format okay so let's go to Yes. So let me explain you how to take this uh, data entry, uh, like the unit and other parameters. So, so in part one, uh, you can name it as watershed, or uh, you can name it as where the uh like the catchment or a watershed is situated and b uh you can name it, it as uh, station or any region where there is a gauge or uh, hydrometeorological station are uh, located and in the c uh in c you can uh, see you can check it here for c and k uh, this if you want to use a manual how to take this uh, part c parameter so in case of uh, if there is a stage you can name it as uh, stage if there is a precipitation if you can name it as precipitation precip if there is a stage you can name it as elevation precipitation and So, then, in case 
incremental precipitation hence our uh, the daily rainfall of annual period So in this you can see we have imported that at CSV format to FDSS. In that you only need to take these rainfall data by selected and scrolling down. data so it's one day so uh, since this uh, it is a watershed so, so, so sorry since it is a rainfall station located within a watershed so I name it, it, it as watershed uh, you need to take care uh, that every letter in this uh, in this letter box should be capital only so let's caps lock on. I name it tab watershed and here I name it tab station and I name it tab press fix and fix. is in uh, mm that is a millimeter so I named it at as mm is, uh, yes. incremental precipitation data type so I named it as PRCM so we have taken the data of general of the year 2008 so I name it as January 2008 so starting time it's 8.30 in the morning so Now save it. Yes, here you get the graphical plot with the 
x uh, with the x axis uh, the uh, the months of the year 2008 on y axis the precipitation in mm and you can edit the data if there is any if there is any changes so you can check if there is any changes or you or else you want to alter the data you can check and edit it here and after editing you can uh, give it save so i hope you understood if if there is any if you are getting any problem please uh, text me in the comment box see you we see you soon with uh, other videos thank you